<laughs> okay, hello, my name is... Oh, fuck, I'm scraped. I'm scraped. I'm hit. <laughs> a very palpable hit. I can't put my legs beneath the table because my legs are just so long. Hello, my name is Bob the Drag Queen. And my name is Miss Cracker. And this is Sibling Rivalry. Rivalry. Yeah. Wow, that was pretty good for your second time doing it. Thank you. We did record a um, a a, uh, a test run at the apartment for the live show. Yes. Now, for those of you listening at home or on your ride to work, Amanda, I like calling out random names because there's going to be some girl named Amanda like, oh my God. Yeah, Amanda Knox <laughs> listening right now. Oh my God, this, this, she's talking to me. Yeah, they're killing did it. You know, Shangela took her name from, like, Shangela said she was working and she saw like in the ledger or like on the file somewhere someone named Shangela Wadley. Are you, are you kidding me? So there is just a woman somewhere whose name is actually Shangela Wadley. I was working at a uh, museum when we had a database of names, and one of the donators was Latrice Wigfall. That is a person's <laughs> name, Latrice Wigfall. I was like, she's ready. And by the way, hearing her name now out of context, I think that her next show should be called Shangels in America. I think that's what it should be. Well, I be said great. Shangels yeah. in America, but no one, no one listened. To no me. one took it up. Yeah. But now that maybe you said it, it'll, it'll, it'll catch uh, a, a, a wind and ride it. You know what I think that is? Racism. Um, that's what I and that's what today's talk about. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Well, actually, today I, I tweeted out something that uh, got some um, people angry. I tweeted out, "Y'all more upset about the fucking Notre Dame than you are about the pipeline." Folks, like you can care about more than one thing at once. No, we can't. <laughs> we can only do one. Yeah, I was like, I've seen it's a like, lot of um, this goddamn. I mean, also, I'm also not religious. I also think that religion is the uh, biggest sham in the history of the world. So, well, I, I don't think it's religion. Vendetta. Okay, this is why. This is why I think it's upsetting to people because during World War II. Um, they took every single pane of glass out of every single one of those stained glass windows and gave envelopes full of those little pieces to every Parisian, every French person, and they buried it in hidden secret spots around the country so that it wouldn't get destroyed during the war. And then after the war, every single person brought every piece back. It's like a treasure, and now it's something that everyone has built together, and they're watching it just catch on fire. You yeah, have to imagine I just that don't the, like churches. But it is... I know that sounds so ridiculous, It's not even a like, place... Like, it, if, you, if you think of it, it's one of the largest places of worship where people come together. Yeah. And it's like, so it's not even about... I mean, m Muslim visitors come there. People of all face, creeds, and color come there. It is a gathering place Listen, for human I beings. Listen, I get it. Yeah. I just don't like churches. You don't, you don't like churches. I, I think that, you I know think what I think they are? are? I think they are difficult to heat and that is a terrible thing for me I, I can imagine you know um, uh, Kingdom Halls don't have windows which is where Jehovah's Witnesses go to church really they don't have windows you ever notice yeah. you ever notice if you drive past I, I have Hall, not noticed that they don't have windows yeah isn't that wild no I don't know I don't know it's like, you're, you're right churches are weird spaces but I, th I still think it's sad to lose like a national treasure plus we forget it was in a Disney movie so and like was, the and of... was there a pipeline Disney movie no <laughs> No, there wasn't. <laughs> Next topic. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, back up the pipeline. <laughs> she gave me water. Oh, that's not from the Disney movie. Yeah, that's I have the, no I idea. The, 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 uh, the, the, the Natural Sanctuary. Wildlife Sanctuary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. <laughs> oh, girl. Um... But anyway, so um, Notre Dame is burned. Yeah. The the what do you call it? The, the spire. The spire. The yeah. spire's on fire. Yeah. Spire's um, on fire. Paris, Paris is, is burning, burning. Literally. Um, and Notre Dame is going up in Notre Flames. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get so much hate. <laughs> 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 uh, and Quasimodo went back to being a man, honey. <laughs> Touch this skin. Touch all <laughs> this skin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god, this, we are gonna get we are gonna get so much hate mail. No, what this what we are doing here is uh, not mocking it. We are using comedy to recover from the emotional damage. I don't know, I was on my side, because you said you don't care about it. But I am grieving. But here's a funny thing. Um we also you lived for a long time 
like a few blocks from the largest house of yeah. worship in the Western world, St. John the Divine. And that has burned nearly to the ground twice. Oh, yeah. And nobody said anything like about Phoenix. that. Re- oh, like the uh, Phoenix. Yeah. What happened after a long night of uh, worship? Yeah. <laughs> Trey <laughs> did like Girl. the session. Have you ever seen their sermons? Fire. Girl. Just um, I, you know, I actually did. Um, I was once in a, uh, uh, they filmed the uh, MTV Trailblazers Honor Awards there. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, so I was I was up in that church serving Girl, honey. 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 Serving the Lord, honey. The, the thing is about, like, that church and churches in America, which we just don't care about. Like, half of it burned down, and they just put, they just sealed that off. So oh, yeah. Like, it's, yeah. Like, it's like this now, instead of a full cross. Yeah. And, and it's uh, also, it's still, I mean, if you don't know this church, it's over on um, Amsterdam and 110th Street, mm-hmm. and it looks like Hogwarts. I mean, yeah. it's oh, ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, you absolutely. Lived there too. Yeah, we both have moved out the neighborhood. Right, girl. We moved on up like thirty blocks. Yeah, yeah. legit. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's going on. Um, I guess you know. Let me let me let me let me recant my statement. I think my not recant, but my I think my issue was because <laughs> I, like, I have never heard just, you recant anything. I was like, let me double down. Folks were just so <laughs> upset about this damn church burning up yeah and i just feel like there's just such a so many atrocities in this world and i just see i keep seeing this church yeah pop up over and over and over again you know how many churches have been burned in the past month in america oh three black churches yeah but th- th- i think that is an even better point eat three yeah. in the past month three yeah. black churches have been burned down in these united states of america right and i have not seen people a single like, thing oh my goodness yeah and those churches were built by communities. Right. You know what I mean? And filled with communities still. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. And also... No, there weren't panes of glass from World War II uh, stored around uh, Alabama. <laughs> um, for that the, we know of. Those of you listening at home can't tell that I'm shaking my yeah. head piece for all this. I'm also dressed in a full... I'm also talking about churches dressed in a full church lady. Yeah, right. so I don't like churches. <laughs> I never got anything from them. No, I do love church culture, though. I got, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Church oh, absolutely. Music and, yeah. Yeah. I grew up in the church. Yeah, I did not. Well, I kind of grew up in the church. I, uh, my family is like Southern Baptist. So growing up, they were like religious, but not really religious. Like right. Southern Baptist, it like, was a community thing. But yeah, more I feel than... like Southern Baptists are really, really religious when they're in the church. And then they leave the church, they're like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that is. My family's going to kill me for that. I, I went to church for a, a while, experimented around with it. And I, found I remember that the, the most enthusiastic churchgoers are the people that misbehave during the week, you know, that come to church hungover. And honestly, I think that may be the way to do it. Like, just, just like wash. Your I remember, like maybe like seven, eight years ago, you you were like every Sunday, you'd be like, "Well, I'm going to church this Sunday," and oh, yeah. you and a bunch of black ladies all going to church together. Absolutely, and people people always think that I'm joking about stuff and that I'm trying to be a comedy queen. I am not trying to be a comedy queen. I'm just trying to tell you stuff that's going on. So, like on my Saturday gig, I'd be like, "I gotta go. I have church in the morning." People would be like, "Right, right you got <laughs> you got." I'm like, "No, she, I literally she again. have church." In and Monet the morning. used to be a church going queen too. You know, Monet used yeah. to sing in church every Sunday. Uh, what was it? The free food. <laughs> the wine. Um, <laughs> dude, Monet would do anything for a cracker. Just a little wafy comedian, a cracker girl. Oh, absolutely. Um, By the way, that wasn't a wine. That was singing. Just so you know, <laughs> that just, Monet was doing. It's easy to confuse the two. Basso, not so profundo. Girl. Um, we're missing. We're missing Monet. Monet is out doing. Um, for those of you wondering why Cracker is here, um, <laughs> you join the club. Cause I don't know <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> walk into the, the set, girl. Um, Monet is um, doing work the world right now with yes. um, Aquaria, Kim Chi, Naomi yep. Smalls, Violet Chachki, Cameron Michaels, Asia O'Hara. Right. And I believe that's the full cast. I'm pretty sure. I hope sure. you didn't miss somebody. Because if I did, girl, yeah. they're they going to be, uh, honey, I'm going to be on fire. Yeah. Well, let's just say, and a surprise guest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And a surprise <laughs> guest to be revealed later in the show. Um, and so, anyway, the show looks great. Monet, by the way, Monet has been like there. So, a video was released of Monet falling off her chair. Latrice wig fall. Right? Yeah. And then there's a video of Monet performing and then her wig falls off. And then another day, Monet, her lash fell off and she just didn't put it on. So, she just went on stage wearing one eyelash. I don't know what the hell Monet's doing overseas. I don't think this is too shady to say that uh, Kim Chi sent you a video of Monet performing and you're like, why did Kim oh. Chi send this? Because she. She's a shady bitch. Yeah, I was like, maybe I was this, like is, this is the 
Well, what, what happened was we were watching the video, and I was like, wow, Kim's in this video, Monet. Mm, something must have gone wrong. Slang. Watch for like 20 seconds. Like, I was like, oh no, Monet's doing a good job. And, like, and, then I, and then at that point, I was like, maybe Kim Chi turned her life around. Maybe Kim Chi's no longer sending shady videos yeah. when it falls off. <laughs> yeah, you're like, ah, yeah. there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Turns the page. There it is. This train's, this train's never late. Yep. It doesn't come when you expect it, but it's always on time. Right. Like the Lord. Like the mm-hmm. Lord. <laughs> um, so Cracker, you have been um you've done your fair share of uh tours. World working. You've yeah. done three tours. Yes. You did the haters roast, you yeah, did and the they Christ- keep sending me back despite the PTSD <laughs> girl. You did the Christmas tour and you did the season eight the season ten tour. Season ten, haters roast, and then yeah, the Christmas tour. And uh and I also did my tour in the UK solo, Work. which is just a month on a bus with people who you can't Who understand. did you do it with? I did it with Holy T. Holy now. Trinity. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Which is uh, yeah. Holy T now. Oh, it was Holy T. Yes. Oh. They tried to correct. I don't know. T-rexed. Back when yeah. I was uh, <laughs> back when I was touring with the company, you had to walk ten miles in the snow to Up, a gig. Yeah, yeah, in hills. Um, <laughs> and then I got to the hills. Gig took the hills off. No, I um. Yeah, we did. Uh, it was called Holy Trinity back yeah. then. So I guess they've switched the name of it. Yep, they cleaned up their act. Which makes sense. I gotta say, you know, you gotta, um, you gotta. It, it, I think it is important to stay with the times. Yeah. In terms of, uh, you know, what we can, what we think is uh, fierce to say and fierce not to say. So yeah, good, for, good for them. Good for them. Yeah. If a whole bunch of people that buy tickets to your show are like, this hurts my feelings. Maybe go consider, ahead and drop yeah. a few letters. Yeah. So, so good for them. Yeah. The touring has been really insane, and like, um, I I remember uh, a queen came over to my house. She was buying. Uh, a wig from me and she was uh, doing her Drag Race tour and I had not been on Drag Race yet and I was talking to her and I turned Is around Is a secret queen? I, I just don't know if she wants this image of her like indelibly like imprinted on the world I was talking to her uh, and like doing the wig and I turned around and she was sitting up agreeing and fast asleep and I was like, wow, disrespect, she is so extra. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> now, having toured, I know what that's fucking like. Yeah, like, you, you get, you you get mad tired. wherever stillness happens, you know what I mean? Well, I, you know, I now cannot stay awake on airplanes. Like, oh, absolutely I'm talking not. before we get off the tarmac, I'm asleep, and then I wake up in oh, the yes. time zone. Yeah, which is great if you are afraid of flying, which I am. Are you? I sit down in the seat, and I'm like... <laughs> And I wake up. And then your neck breaks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a full body. Can I see what happened the other day? On the, I was, I'm on a red eye from L.A. What happened? Oh, to you. Yeah. Like, Can I say what happened to you? I was like, what happened to me? <laughs> uh, what happened to you? Mm. Uh, on the red eye from L.A. And the uh, the guy was like, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we will be expecting a slight bit of turbulence leading into uh, New York City. <laughs> and this girl was like, "We, mom. We're, we're, should we leave? We're gonna leave. And then I was like, "What? They're like, we're get, we're get, we're getting off." No, first she, she goes, "Wait, there's gonna be turbulence." She goes, "Yeah, just a little bit of turbulence going into New York." Yeah. And then I was like, "No." The girl's like, "No, we gotta go." Yeah. Mom, we're leaving. Grab your yeah. stuff. Mom, grab your stuff. We're leaving. And then mom was no! like, "What?" And she was like, "Yeah, we're grabbing our thing." They're like freaked out, rushing off the plane. And I was thinking to myself, like, how are they gonna get? To New York, yeah. Like, weren't you going to New York to do something? Presumably, you, yeah. You must have been like planning to get there to do something when you got there. They just, and it was a red eye. There's no flights after that. They right. just didn't go. They're just gonna sit in the gate. Yeah. They and just got back on there. I, I mean, if they just got back in the car and went back to their homes. I mean, yeah. they were flying uh, first class, so they might have had some money. Girl, so they may have went to a hotel, but they just like we're just going. I was like, girl, you got how you gonna get home? Uh, the thing is, like, I am am okay with turbulence now until the stewardesses look nervous. That's where I fucking drop when when they're when they're like white knuckling it. <laughs> they, when they sit in that little seat and they put the buckle on and they have the the, the phone and they're like, you know, whispering. That's where I fucking draw the line. Or when the woman next to me is weeping, like over the turbulence, I can't take that because Wait, that wh- triggers me. Why well, have headphones? No, it's kind of thing. Headphones will save your life. I can still see someone weeping. I can still see it. Yeah, it's kind of like <laughs> no. But some people like it. crying. People like people on planes like freak out over a lot of stuff. Like, right. A, I'll never forget. I was on a plane <laughs> and there was like a whole kerfuffle. Yeah. It was uh, leaving Orlando, and this uh, Hasidic family got on the plane. Yeah. And this guy would not sit next to this lady. Uh. And he was like, I'm not sitting next to her. Yeah. And then these other people were like, you need to sit down. And then yeah. like, he was like, someone's going to have to move because I'm not sitting next to this lady. It's against my religion. Yeah. And then everyone was like, but we have to go. And he was right. like, but no. Yeah. So we sat on that tarmac for, I think, almost an hour. Yeah. Until someone, some man from the back. Yeah. Or no, the lady 
I don't even know what they, I think the, the, the lady had to move back or they made him move to the back or yeah. something. It was like a it was a, have you ever been on one of these situations? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I've I've had I think I'm a f- legitimately afraid of flights because I've had such terrible situations. I was flying back from the West Africa and such as and a man had a complete and total full heart attack like in the air like in the row behind me. We had to have an emergency landing just like in panic and terror. Work. We ended up Where staying is that? Where, for panic two and terror? Days. Is that in um uh, it's just south of Portugal. It work. Um so uh <laughs> it's just it's it's one island but two panic countries. Panic and yeah, hating yeah, 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 a lot of people. It, yeah. Put them together. Um Panica Slovakia. Uh so <laughs> just to just to make sure everyone knows what we're doing. Um <laughs> so what was I fucking saying? So we had to stay there for two days because of this bullshit. We got in the air again and someone had a massive panic attack in the bathroom and Because someone just had a heart attack. Scream- right. Exactly. <laughs> Screaming, they tackled that guy and zip tied him. They zip tied his wrists. And uh, he was like screaming the rest of the flight. And then when we landed in New York, we hit the tarmac at such an angle that we blew through a wheel off the front of the plane, that front tire. <laughs> and it's just like, and we went nose down like this the whole way into the thing. And I was like, that sort of like put it in my mind. So if that, you are on a plane with Miss Cracker, get just off. Just get the fuck because off. Because she's girl. a GTFO. bad look. Mitch? Do you remember the time that we were flying to Istanbul and there was a guy. Wait, not Constantinople? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Flying to Istanbul to go on like this Atlantis. Cruise. Come here to the microphone. We were Bob and I were flying to Istanbul to be to go on this Atlantis cruise, and on the way to Istanbul, a guy like ha- they thought he had a heart attack or something. Mm-hmm. He collapsed up near the bathroom. Oh yeah! And the funniest thing was like Bob. <laughs> and the funny thing is Bob what? was right behind me. Can I say this? What you said? What I say? <laughs> What I say? <laughs> I was right behind me. She taps me on the shoulder. I was like, she goes, what's happening? I go, I think this guy had a heart attack. Everybody just rushed. And um, I can't remember how you said or what you, you, you said. You better get the word and right, girl. <laughs> I, I'm sure it was asshole thing. What Big I Brother is watching. You're like, it's something about, like, can they hurry up with this? Because I really just want to get this. <laughs> It is. It's so true, though. The Trixie was talking about this. Like, it is a thing with New Yorkers that uh, Marty Gold Cummings, Marticia Gold Cummings, uh, her uh-huh. Christian name. You were joking, by the way. Was, <laughs> she was, was joking. Uh, Marty Gold Cummings was giving Trixie a tour of New York, and uh, they made an announcement on the subway. They're like, uh, due to uh, someone on the tracks, we are delaying this train. And Trixie's like, someone on the tracks? What is that? And Marty's like, ugh. People try to kill themselves on the track. <laughs> it fucks everything up for the rest of the day. Which is true. <laughs> and Trixie's like, you guys are cold. But it is. If yeah. You're gonna, if you're going to kill yourself, do it on the G train. Right. Which I'm she's not. Kidding, she's I'm not kidding. <laughs> she's not running anyway. And you have more reasons if you live on the G train. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, and our more, most inflammatory. Yeah. Uh, uh, episode ever. No, but New Yorkers, like, they, the first thing that they care about is just making sure that the trains run. Oh, the, um, it is the bloodline of the... Yeah. The trains are the veins of New York City. Oh, absolutely. The people are the blood. Yeah. We need the veins to get to where yeah. we're going. Yeah, holy, holy, that was, holy. I just made that up just now. Absolutely. That was, let me tell you, that's the SAT prep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people yeah. are the veins as yeah. the blood is yeah. the, to the... Yeah, how did you do your SATs? Uh-huh. How did you do your SATs? I think I did pretty okay. Um, I did like perfect in uh, the humanities, English, etc. And like I think seventy three percent of the nation did better than me at math. So drag um, oh, is yeah. what happened out of that. Um, but yeah, I was, was going to say. Oh, people say that uh, New Yorkers are so mean and unhelpful, and it is not true. If you are a tourist and you are trying to swipe through, the first thing oh. a New Yorker will do is be like, bip, boop. Push. Yeah, because they need to get their way. Yeah. Also, New Yorkers love give. New Yorkers will fight each other over the chance to. They're give like, you don't go that way. Yo, don't, they'll, do they'll be like, not don't listen take, to her. Do not take the no, C train. No, listen. The one train is better. No, listen to me. No, it is the, that is that? No. Blow. Okay, you can jump to the express, but you're literally <laughs> only saving extra five minutes. Plus, you can sit down if you stay on the one train because here, uh, I, eat. I mean, people will fight. Be like, take my route, please. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Fuck ways, girl. Just get a New Yorker. New Yorkers are old, old dads trying to give you. Their their route to work and tell you why their route's the best. No, if you oh. swing by Larry's house, let, I want you. I want to take a moment to look at some images and videos from back in the day when you and I used to do um, whatever that was that we used to do. Look Queen together. Oh, Look the, Queen. Okay, we're only going that far back. In Good. the basement of the of the Monster, which is a, a gay bar that we both used to work at in the West Village, um, and we have <coughs> here on the screen. Mitch is pulling up some so. old. <laughs> 
<laughs> this Rob- is when I this was I was like I'm now cunt enough in drag that I can do a Robin song all the way through, no mix, no edit. Just I don't know that you already know what's about to happen. Hit it. So you guys at home I wore can't this tell. outfit with you uh, two days ago. So what you guys can't tell is that right now, if you guys are listening, Cracker's wearing a red pair of panties that I think I made or gave to her. Yep. And then the, the, there are panties that go up to my waist. They are completely covering her nipples. They go all the way up. She's wearing a black Liza Minnelli wig, which Cracker used to be obsessed with doing Liza. And she's also uh, wearing a feather collar around her Am neck. Am I wearing pads? Is that in the background? And that's Thorgy in the back. Me and Thorgy in the background. <laughs> How do you feel about watching your watching this old uh, footage? I just like wonder where my pads are. And there I am on light. Am I unpadded? I don't think. No, I'm you were you used to wear little itty bitty pads. I'm are you so thin. Yeah, little first baby, of all, little baby pads. This is pre tour. Oh, there's uh, what's her name? The crazy drag queen who sets things on fire. <laughs> Madam Vivian V. Ma- Madman Vivian V. Yeah, girl. Out of drag. Can we talk about this man's haircut in the bowl cut? The, uh, the, uh, oh, how about this? this the the one Ike wearing, Turner. The one wearing chain mail. How about her? Oh, everything. Oh, he's cute. Oh, Cracker is feeling it. She's creeping around, girl. <laughs> Do you have any other uh, other videos? Do you want a Cracker? Or? Oh, whatever you have next. We'll, we'll just re- react to whatever, you, whatever oh, the next that, thing you have. That next. hurts. That was... Uh, at that time... Let's wait, let's wait till, till he gets the... Vo- there we go. Go ahead. That that look at that time was fire. Like I wore feathers, and that was just like <laughs> she was turning it, darling. Did you used to go to uh, saliva with us? Uh huh. You remember yeah. when Ezra used to wear feathers on her head? Oh, and I was like, this it was is just what life a, is. Ring, it of was a ring of feathers. Yeah. And every every girl in the city would make fun of her by wearing those feathers, but really, we all just wanted to wear wanted the to feathers, wear feathers yeah, one exactly, time. Exactly. Yeah, oh, fully that. Goodness. Yeah, it took us like. Um, 10 years to realize that Azrea was doing the same face every week because she was so blended well, oh, that the we face felt, was so kind. Yeah, that we were just like, what oh is my this? Right, what is Mitch about to pull up here? What is this? Oh, oh, this is my be attack. I don't even know what I'm wearing in this one. I'm uh, so you guys don't know. This is uh, again we're at the most. Oh my god. First of all, this was This is great. This was the night before uh, Vic, uh, Vicky Villanelle. You can skip ahead a little bit too. It's a lot of talking. Um, this was my number I used to always do. I haven't done this number. I, th- I don't think I've done this number since the season eight tour of RuPaul's Drag Race. I miss white lips for you. Maybe I, I miss maybe that. I'm, oh, yeah, white lips. Just a, a one leg, one just sleeve. Just looking like David Chappelle suit. doing a crack at a girl. <laughs> just like. One leg, one sleeve cat suit. Um, this outfit has nothing to do with this number. <laughs> These stones are these stones are all from earrings. These are not A and B stones. These are D and F stones, girl. <laughs> Just and these are all these stones are literally. I bought earrings and I would uncage the earrings and I would glue them to the garment. That is what I was doing there. And I'm also not wearing a corset. And she is skinty. Oh, absolutely. I don't know why Chicago feels like they have the hold on look queens because look what we have had <laughs> for years, darling. <laughs> And not a nary a nail in sight. And nude illusion shoes just... (laughs) Serving the children. (laughs) I can't. All right, Paul, that's good. That's good. Oh, that's called a bob, the wig that you're wearing. Yes, a bob, a bob and a bob. Yep, a bob and a bob. A bob and a bob. I miss, I really miss the days of um, the madness that we used to uh, Do you know what? The thing that I liked about Look Queen was that you had shows that were packed to the walls all week long. And you were like, eh. But Look Queen, to which only seven meth addicts uh, showed up, (laughs) you were like, this is going to be the one that makes the difference. And it was the one, I don't know if I can say this, this was the one that Rue came to see you at. Yeah, Rue came to see me at Look Queen. He saw that and was like, put it on television. I'll have it. He's like, I want to see it in HD. I want to see it up close, girl. (laughs) Wrap it up. I'll take Lo- it. Lo and behold, what I'm gonna say is Lauren behold. Lauren behold, everyone. <laughs> Lauren behold, ladies and gentlemen. Laura physics. Um, now our topic today. I'm waiting for Mitch to pull it up on the screen because I don't remember it, so I'm just waiting for Mitch to uh, bring up our. We haven't had a topic yet. We've just been talking. Oh, uh, we've literally we have not even made it into the topic yet. 
<laughs> because we have you need to make it. I, Mitch, I am old. I don't know how old you think I am, but I cannot read so that. What about our drag family. That oh, so we're talking about the fam. The family. So as you guys know, uh, me and Monet are uh, <laughs> technically drag sisters. Although I'm really more her like aunt or like a mentor. I taught Monet a lot about drag. I'm yeah, your sisters her mom, her mom. in that what? In that you're very close sister. And then or... and that and that I'm not technically her drag mom because right, her yeah. drag mom is Henny Davenport. This, right, exactly. And your mom, your drag mom is who you ask to be. Yeah, your it's drag decided. Mom. It's yeah. mutual. So my drag kids are, and all of them across New York City. Yeah, you have to provide the Instagram handles at the bottom of the screen so that people can get into. Yes, them. there's Lily Heavenly. Yep. There's Honey LeBronx. Yep. There's Ray Scandalo. De La Verga. De La Verga. Mm-hmm. There is uh, Ms. Cracker. Yeah, here she is. And then there's also my last and not reluctant child, because I'm not reluctant to have her, um, although she had another drag mom, and I kind of sort of became her drag mom, yeah. is Judy Darling. Oh, that's you. You're her, you, you claim her? Well, Judy is my drag daughter in the way that Monet is my drag daughter. Like, I taught Judy a lot about right. drag, and when Judy lived with me, we did a lot of drag. Judy's uh, the witch on the rise, hashtag yeah. witch on the rise. She's a, a witchy queen who lives here in, in the cities, in the city. It's just yeah. one city. Um, and she, um, she is my drag daughter in the way that Monet is my drag daughter. Like, she had a drag mom already, but I showed her a lot about drag. I feel like if you're the person that winces, when a queen does something and that wince makes them change their behavior, that kind of makes you their mom. You know what I mean? They, they, they're like, oh, girl, look at this. And you're like, she pursed her lips. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then you become the mother. It's there like, you know sm- what? Call me mother. There was once a smile on the record in 1999. <laughs> and then, of course, Cracker has a, the drag daughter, uh, Juicy Lou. Juice, Juice and Lou. Is she yes. the only drag daughter? She is. No, I have um, a couple of others, but that that is my working. Who are the other drag daughters? The other ones Who are my other drag are, Who are my grandkids I don't know about? <laughs> uh, right, illegitimate. Uh, Martina Turner, who's very pretty as a boy, so she doesn't need drag. Good for um, and yeah, and I think Juicy is the the other one that I would that I would claim. Oh, and I did adopt um, someone that you introduced me to, Mio, who is a Japanese oh, dancer. Oh, Mio, the new performer. Mio, the new performer. I love Mio. So, so I met Mio. Mio is this uh, Japanese girl uh, from Japan. And more. Yeah. And uh, she came to my show one day, and she was I, she was like, my dream. I I, I said, listen, I, I always always say I'm like the genie. I can make your dreams come true. What is your dream? And she goes. Mm-hmm. My dream is to dance single ladies with you. Yeah. And I was like, what? And she goes, I'm like, all right. Yeah. So then I was like, sure, hit it. And then she fucking danced me under the fucking rug. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. This, this cute, she's like the uh, Japanese Tracy Turnblad. <laughs> she's this cute little chunky <laughs> yeah! Japanese girl. Yes! And, and she fucking dances like the yeah. house down. She's yeah. like amazing. Yeah, my, one of my favorite things that she does is she will wear a sleek cover up with uh, a reveal underneath that has fringe of a different color, so the fringe is like oh, yeah. dangling. <laughs> and you're like, I see what's coming, bitch. You remember when Gia Gunn used to, uh, <laughs> when Gia Gunn was working the runway and her, her uh, reveal was dangling? Oh yeah, I, li- I live. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but the thing about Mio, and Mio is drag to me because she has the only thing that I think is required for drag. Fuck lashes and heels and hair and everything else. She is so fucking excited to be on stage oh. and to share the moment with you yeah. that you know, professional Broadway bottom dancers like Alvin Alleyway kids that are like, Not in, Alvin Alleyway. just like for every performance, they get up for her because she's just she's joy. Yeah. And that's that you have to have that first in drag. If you don't have that, the other stuff won't fix it. Work. That's what I think. I see it, oh, Mitch. Okay. <laughs> I was letting Cracker wrap up. So we're going to take a short little break. Um, and uh, we'll be back in a second. Hi, Hi guys. guys. If you love our podcast and you'd like to help support our production and gain access to exclusive content on Patreon, you can do just that. When you pledge a monthly payment of your choosing, you'll gain access to exclusive behind-the-scenes content that isn't available anywhere else. The more pledges we get, the more we will be able to dedicate our time to creating more sibling rivalry content. It's a win-win. We have three tiers for you to choose from to pledge your monthly donation. For our first tier, you can pledge $1 a month and you become a stranger. For this price, you gain the knowledge that you have supported us. <laughs> Appreciate that. For $5 a month, the next tier is a cousin. You're not one of our siblings, but we're totally related. You have access to our locked feed and get to see exclusive content and behind the scenes footage. You'll also be supporting the continuation of sibling yeah, cuz you can come to the cookout, but don't come to my house. <laughs> With your shoes on. Yeah, with your shoes. Take your shoes off! Take your fucking shoes off! 
And our last tier is sibling. For $10 a month, you came from the same pussy as us. You are one of our siblings. You have access to our locked feed, this exclusive content, and behind the scenes footage. Footages. And, footages. And you are a huge supporter in the continuation of sibling rivalry. If you do not support us, we assume you're racist. Oh, oh not assume. I, I know. Bet you be, I bet you be watching uh, Tricks and Katya. I bet you watch uh, uh, Vol Whimsically Vol Vol Whimsically Volatile. Uh, I, I, bet you, I bet you subscribe to Race Chaser uh -huh. with your white asses. <laughs> you know what? In fact, if you white, you need to be a sibling. All black folks can do $5. All white motherfuckers need to subscribe more. <laughs> Stop. You're scared of people. Okay, you're right. We'll see you guys next time. We love you. Bye. All right, peace, guys. And we're black. Are we black? We're black. One of us is. Um, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Because this is like a thing that you and Monet keep doing, and I don't understand it. Why do you guys not wear thumbnails? Oh, this is called the business thumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. And this is so I can <laughs> sign autographs and Can you and show it to the camera so that, yeah. the, that the camera can call the the whole, show them the whole hand? Yeah. 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 And you and you and Monet don't wear thumbnails. It's because when you are hosting, which Monet and I do almost exclusively, we will not travel. Um, <laughs> we you have to turn on and off the mic all the time. And if you have one of these on your thumb, it just does not work out. And you're trying to do this on the mic. It just so I always keep this thumb just in case. And also when you, you're texting people like, please turn up the audio on this shit. Like, you need your thumb to do this. We don't have a Samsung Galaxy 4 like you. We can't do the swipe thing, you know. You know, we don't have that luxury. Uh, so, yeah. That's Did you know the, the new Samsung Galaxy Note 10 can share power to other devices? Work. Like, if my phone is dying and you have 100%, I can just put my phone back. You know what? In a device. way, you are like that because you have shared power to this device and to Monet Exchange. And I you really have on top of me. Yeah. <laughs> And that's all we have time for today. Everyone, Amanda, thank you for joining us. Amanda, <laughs> we appreciate you, are you Amanda. The one we do this for? She's like, I love them every week. Well, this week is the first one, but every week. Oh, God. We are so, we are so ridiculous. <laughs> just, just friction, everyone. It gets you ahead in life. I, I want to talk more about the drag family because I've, I've, I've already, we've already strayed from the path. Okay. Now, from our family, I was the from I was, fourth the fatal loins. We have three members of our family who have been on Drag Race. Me, you, and Monet. That's right. And uh, yeah, and there was me, and then there was nothing, and then there was two of you at the exact same time. Right. Are there any other drag families that have been like? I mean, the House of Haunt has been well, all over Drag uh, what's, Race. What's Sharon, a, Alaska, Alyssa, and, Laganja, well, Plastique. Oh, I think that's the biggest. No, Alyssa, Laganja, Plastique. Also, um, I think Gia, Gia Gunn, Gunn was a part, part of, of the family, family for like a yeah. little bit, or yeah. kind of not. So they have four. So we need to get Juicy, <laughs> Juicy on Juicy Ball on so the show. So Juicy Juicy'll or kick Honey, ball change. or if Juicy Honey or um, Judy could get on the show, then um, and if Lily gets on, yeah, oh girl. <laughs> well, you guys don't know. So Lily, let me. I want to explain some of these people in our family. Lily Heavenly. This is, is what I want you to do with this story. I want you to start. Nice and easy. <laughs> <laughs> and finish the song. Nice so, and rough. <laughs> okay, so Lily Heavenly is a drag daughter of mine who yeah. is known mostly around town for doing singing Proud Mary yeah. live. Yeah. And, and, and let's emphasize known for, like infamous for, she has been doing it for I think seven years now. And will continue. I mean yeah. if you if she shows up Rest assured. Share cockroaches and Lily Heavenly doing, doing yeah, Tina, proud yeah. Mary girl. And then Hunter LeBronx is uh, also known as the vegan drag queen. Mm -hmm. Hun, I, Let's not use the word known. <laughs> Hunter LeBronx is one of the most unique people I think I've ever met in my life. Absolutely. We were roommates together for three and a half years in a yeah. very small New York City apartment that should have only one, only one person should have been done been living in. Right. But we live there together, and actually, she's like traveling the world literally yeah. with her. Um, she is the fire her... festival of drag. <laughs> she really is. I mean, she goes out and she does these fundraisers uh, for all these um, like animal sanctuaries and uh, yeah. these vegan organizations. Yeah. And she is truly, I mean, and I mean truly, dedicated her life to uh, saving the animals. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But not Notre Dame. Not no no no. She also gets also Monet gets mad at her because uh, she um, Monet gets mad at her because Mo she plays mooing sounds while Monet eats burgers. <laughs> <laughs> One time we were hanging out at at uh, and Honey's just sitting there mooing. <laughs> One time. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> One time we were just sitting there at Renaissance Diner, rest in peace, and um, and um, it burned down. Um, actually, <laughs> that night. Actually, I will say more people were sad about the burning down of um, <laughs> Renaissance Mama. Diner. <laughs> of Renaissance yeah. Mama. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Notre Dame. Um, and then. Uh, Monet ordered a burger and then Heinle Brunch started playing mooing sounds yeah, in the background. Absolutely. And Monet has never let that go. I mean, never. to this day, Monet is like, I will never forget that she played mooing sounds yeah. whilst I ate my dead burger. Yeah, Heine Le Bronx has not just been raising money to save the animals, girl. She has been down there at the Canada, Canada Goose store, like throwing blood oh, at yeah. people oh, waiting yeah. in line. Like, <laughs> look how you look. This is how you look covered in blood. What so, is the, yeah. uh, what is, I can't remember the name of it, but there's a, a Jewish holiday where they like, you you can either give money or like or like swing a chicken around your head and then kill it. Tax day. <laughs> well, this is one. <laughs> and they do this. They do this thing every year. All these like these these people these in the Jewish community they take these chickens. Tell me more. And they kill them. Yeah. Do you not know? What, which I have one? no idea what you're talking about. They kill these. Can you Google this, Mitch? What is the Jewish holiday? Where it's they probably kill? one that I should really know and that I don't. What's I the Jewish know. holiday where they kill the chickens by swinging them around their heads? Anyway. <laughs> I'm I don't you, know. I haven't even heard a whiff of this one. Real Maybe it's thing. a really, really uh, famous one that I don't know. <laughs> anyway, they kill the chickens, and then she goes down there every year to protest this holiday. What's the yeah. name of it? Um, ca- ca- uh, ca- can you, I can't pronounce it. K a p p a r o t. And they say, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have that. Swing a chicken over one's head. A Yom Kippur folk tradition? There it is. Wow. And they still do it in parts of Brooklyn and Manhattan. Uh-huh. And uh, a lot of Amorite uh-huh. activists are like, don't swing these chickens around your head. There are also a lot of, uh, there's also text in the uh, uh, Torah that says you can also do it with money as well. It doesn't have right. to be a chicken. It doesn't have to be a chicken. You can just sacrifice something. And by the way, Maybe I- not show the, uh, the swinging chicken. It's a little uh, yeah. upsetting. Zero, zero <laughs> trigger warning. Yeah, just, it's, it's uh, a little upsetting. To sh- or just Because uh, I saw Mitch full, about, yeah. yeah, Mitch is about to slide the, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the swinging of the chickens. <laughs> they're, not, like, they're not showing it. They're just- no, the guy had the chicken by the feet, fully swinging it like David and Goliath, girl. But to throw the beak up at the Not fucking David and Goliath. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Also, I used to hate them out there. Anyway, yeah. So um, that's what Honey, that's what Honey LeBrunx is out here doing in these streets. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, you, and you and Judy had a show together. Yeah. Knockout Tuesday. Yeah, for two years. And no one knocked anyone out, which is unbelievable. Yeah, we got close, though. <laughs> <laughs> got close, though. Judy and I had a show together. We had a show together there for two years and on Thursdays for a year at Pieces. So we saw each other twice a week, which made her fully the person that I saw the most during the week. And we almost killed each other. We really did. And we, we just started playing pranks on each other that were like... <laughs> But they were really like deeply out of spite. Judy, <laughs> Judy would hide the mic from me in the building so that she could host alone, and I would just go looking for it. That is the, horrible. Yeah, it's great. But uh, I look back on it fondly now. Do you yeah. remember? I actually, speaking of uh, knocking each other out, I actually have seen Cracker get knocked out. Um, I don't know if you remember this or not. I once came to see you perform at Sweet, which is on 109 in Amsterdam. And uh, <laughs> Cracker decided to do a handstand. <laughs> Cracker went to the back of the wall. She did a handstand. Yeah. But then as she did the handstand, her arms gave out. Yeah, my Mr. Burns arms. Girl. Yeah, her arms just went limp and gave out. And then she just fell on her head. Yeah. And then just like sl- <laughs> And just slumped over on the ground, <laughs> like fully passed out. Bloody nose. And everyone was like, yeah! And then Cracker says up like, oh, no. <laughs> and I was like, no, I, I think she I really think she genuinely hates hurt. it. And Brenda yeah. and Darling is walking around just kicking and kicking. <laughs> yeah, and then someone swung me around the head. <laughs> what? <laughs> Broke my fucking neck. Put it on the screen! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Video? No. Does it exist somewhere? I don't, I don't I, think I, any video exists no, of it. It would but, just uh, be in that moment watching it happen oh, in yeah. real time. Be like, yeah. Cracker just knocked herself completely. Full bloody nose. I had a big scab on the bridge of my schnoz for like a oh. full two weeks after that. It was great stuff. Oh yeah, a lot of injuries and drag. That is so, oh my god, that that is one of my fondest memories. I have some great memories just watching you do crazy stuff. Yeah. I remember one time you came, you wrapped in saran wrap at Excess Lounge. Uh-huh. And I had a fish yes. wrapped into the saran wrap. Yeah, there was yeah. A, a dead fish yep. that you saw around your head yep. in the middle of the saran wrap. She's like, serving fish, girl. And you, and you have like a tuna hat. <laughs> and a tuna can hat and tuna can titties. And it was just like a skirt made of a 
fish and saran wrap. And the funny thing is, is that I like this is I was walking down the street and um, I look behind me and there was like four dogs <laughs> following me. And I was like, this is so weird. Isn't this weird? And there's like seven dogs at the time I got to the train and I realized I smelled like a fucking dead fish. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, so many of these Instagram queens these days serving looks and everything is all this visual thing. I was serving a smell, darling. It was a, that was in person. A cracker in smell of vision, bitch. <laughs> Girl, oh my 3D. I still feel like you made up the chicken head thing because I have been Jewish much longer than you've been blowing Jews, and I feel like... <laughs> It's not. I don't know that though. Maybe not. Because <laughs> I love when you wear an eye patch. Oh well, I have not worn an eye patch yeah. in so long. It fucks up your depth perception. Right away, right? Oh, immediately. Mm -hmm. um, and your eye underneath is mad. It's it's hot. Yeah. Eye patches are hot. Yeah. Um, but I would love to. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go and get. I'm gonna go buy an eye patch tonight. Right. And before anyone comments about, oh, you can't do that because that's making fun of people with. Blah, blah, blah. No, I, my mother has only one eye and she lives for those looks as well. So, Works, they, so, you know, it is respectful and celebrated by people with one eye to see it looking beautiful or whatever that is. <laughs> so, <laughs> or, or whatever I will what be doing you? Uh, yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> um, I think the last time I wore an eye patch was the first night Tina Burner hosted um, Star Search of Barracuda. I showed up and I wore an eye patch and I yeah. did a number and I won. And that was also I've only I did Star Search, but Star Search is the longest running drag competition in New York City. Yeah, it, it might be runs from show. like eleven until four in the morning, <laughs> every fucking time. <laughs> it might be the longest running show in New York drag show in New York City. Yeah, and it literally um, and uh, I lost. I did it every every Thursday for about two years. Yeah, and I think I lost every single time. Really? I almost. You every. know when you won? I think. Um, was when you and Keisha Carr did, did uh, Ella Fitzgerald together, yep. and it looked so perfectly rehearsed. You because fucking we also because uh, Keisha Carr is also dressed as me because we did the Slammy Awards the night before. Yeah, and what really gagged the children, yeah, and me, yeah. Because I remember we did that. I'm, I'll never forget that night. We did the show, and then uh, Lily Heavenly came up to us afterwards. She was like, "I was really counting on this money tonight, <laughs> and you two won it, and that is shady." Yeah. And then we were like, it's not, this is a competition. It's not like right. we came and took your gig. Yeah. She was like, I was really relying on this money, and I can't believe y'all did this to me. Yeah. And then you went to Boots and Saddle and took her gig. <laughs> um, the, the, th this is an important story, I think, because back then, which isn't that long ago, but it was like a full seven, eight years ago, there yeah, were so ago. <laughs> few, seven, eight, uh, there were so few gigs available for drag queens at that point in the city that if you were a drag queen, you were often hopping turnstiles to get to a competition to maybe get a hundred dollars oh, yeah. and there were count them maybe 10 queens earning money in the city and they were in next magazine every year because like these are the girls that are paid and we are so fucking lucky as a community now that you cannot walk into it. if it serves brunch it serves queens well there I mean, is I mean, it, it, there if you every 10 blocks in new york city you will find either chase banks or starbucks or dwayne reed or a drag queen yeah absolutely like those are the things that are on every fucking corner yep. in New York City. Yeah. And now, especially... Lucky. But and even, and even, like, I remember also, I think one of the first bars that was going bananas with Queens was Boots and Saddles. Oh, yeah. Boots and Saddles did legitimately sometimes five drag shows a day. Day, yeah. That is madness. It is crazy. How Two hours you, each. Yeah, you said, Solo. <laughs> back in my day, yeah. you would show up to Boots and Saddles. Also, um, what's her name? You Victoria hot. Chase. Oh. <laughs> Victoria Chase will press play whether Victoria. you are on stage or yeah. not. Um, you get out there and then you have to just do a full two. And by the way, you can't do one hour and 59 minutes and you can't do two hours and one minute. Nope. Ex excuse me. Exactly two hours because right after you is fucking Scarlet Envy and uh, Scarlet Envy used to do the show behind me. Right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And people that had been at that show for a long time, like Victoria Chase, she used to walk in out of drag reach into a tip bucket, pull out a stretch dress, two heels, and the wig. <laughs> yes. And the drag Not the would, wig. Yeah, the one. <laughs> and it would that the drag would come from that within 15 minutes and then up the, up they went onto the stage. I wonder where Victoria Chase, Victoria Chase if you're listening, uh, hit us up, girl. Yeah. I wonder where Victoria Chase used to yeah. be the, the 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 entertainment manager 
at Boots and Saddles. Absolutely, girl. Are, 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 we have named three or four establishments that no longer exist. That no longer exist, Renaissance yeah. Diner, Excess Lounge, and Boots and Saddles. And uh, Empanada Mama. And Empanada. Well, she's back. She's back? Yes, who's back in the house. Oh, it's like literally right next door in a much larger work. venue. Work. I'm going to have Empanada Mama today. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Yes, ma'am. I kind of want all the queens to get together and, and like buy Renaissance Diner. Is it empty still? Yeah, still empty. Same. I want to open a. I want to open a place called Brunch. Is that a great name for a place? Great. Brunch. Yeah. Would you, would you join us in our venture? Absolutely. I would definitely do that. Uh, also, uh, one great thing that I saw is a uh, New York establishment got a B rating and they just put brunch under it in <laughs> giant letters. I was like, yes! <laughs> it's now a Crunch Fitness. So. <laughs> <laughs> you were so sweet. Downgrade the letter. Oh, no. <laughs> Just like, exactly. it was ready for drunk. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, thank you, all right, guys, so much for listening to our episode today. Um, oh, do you, we have a, a sign-off on the show where we say... Um, what, what do we say? We usually say, love you, sis. <laughs> but you're my mom. <laughs> I know. So I'll just okay. say, um, uh, I packed you a lunch today. <laughs> I feel strongly about you. Yeah. <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>